Hi, I'm Adam Drake, and today I want to talk about bearings, and more specifically, steel versus ceramic bearings, and just kind of give my input and let you know, are steel bearings worth the money? Now, first and foremost, this comes down to the application that you plan on using the bearings in. So, it, it could be... Um, in some circumstances, ceramic bearings are definitely worth the money. In other applications, maybe a steel bearing uh, is sufficient. So we'll start with eight scale electric buggy. In most cases, eight scale electric buggies or trucks are way overpowered. We tend to do things to where we make settings on the radio uh, like Expo or speed to kind of reduce the overall power because at the end of the day, you have to put the power to the ground. So a ceramic bearing in an application like 8 scale electric is the bearings are nice, they're durable, they're going to hold up well, but it's not going to help produce faster lap times because the cars are pretty much already overpowered in most conditions. Now in 10 scale electric um, modified, same thing. A steel bearing is going to be sufficient and provide just equal lap times to a ceramic bearing. But in the case of stock, where you're limited by the amount of power um, from the motor, a ceramic bearing is gonna make a much bigger difference. It's gonna allow the car to spool up faster, have quicker acceleration, and more overall top speed, and also reduce overall weight of the car. So let's get more into my wheelhouse, uh, Nitro. Uh, and nitro engines specifically. So I'm a fan of ceramic bearings because uh, of a couple reasons. For one, they are slightly lighter. There is a little bit less drag. It allows the engine to spool up a little bit quicker, but it's not gonna be a major difference in performance. It's not gonna be, if you take two of the same engines and two of the same cars um, that are tuned pretty much the same. You're not going to go out on the track and the car with ceramic bearings isn't going to blow past the car with steel bearings on the straightaway. But uh, the ceramic bearing will help make the engine feel a little bit crisper and um, have a little bit more acceleration. The other really nice thing with ceramic bearings on the engine side of things is there's less chance of corrosion. So with a steel bearing, you have a steel inner and outer race, also steel balls, and all of those, every part of the bearing other than the phenolic cage is susceptible to corrosion. With a ceramic bearing, again, you have ceramic balls, but you still have a um, steel inner and outer race. So you can still get corrosion, the bearings can still go bad. Um, that's where after run oil is, is super important. But overall, uh, inside the engine, I prefer to use a ceramic rear bearing. The front bearing is much smaller and lighter, so it doesn't tend to make as much of a difference using a ceramic front bearing. But again, it just depends on the application that you're using it in. Um, I have guys roll my car and they'll see how free the drivetrain is and they can't believe that it's just a Mugen NMB steel bearing. Um, but you can have bearings, whether it's steel or ceramic, still um, allow the car to roll really free if they're cleaned and prepped properly. Um, again, you are going to get a little bit freer, lighter drivetrain with the ceramic bearing. But in an application like 8 scale, it's, it's not really worth the money, in my opinion, other than in the engine. But if you're racing 10 scale or any type of spec racing, um, any little improvement you make is going to help performance and also um, you know improve lap time so in those types of applications i would say it's worth considering spending the extra money on a ceramic bearing but in most applications a steel bearing uh, can help get you to the winner circle it's not going to be a huge difference between um, steel and ceramic in terms of performance